Hey everyone, Alec here. Uh, there's something that I want to share with you guys today because I just got off a phone with a client uh, and he was asking me uh, my opinion with regards to freehold and leasehold properties. I mean, uh, not to be mistaken, freehold properties are definitely good buys uh, provided you can get something that is of good value uh, and especially if you are looking to buy a landed property I'm always of the opinion that you should always get a freehold landed property because um, land in Singapore is scarce and it always appreciates in value and the value of the property itself is well within your control because you are the, own, the sole owner and any enhancement is at your discretion but when it comes to high-rise uh, condos, um, freehold or leasehold basically uh, will depend on the price, right? So uh, a 50-year-old leasehold condo and a 50-year-old freehold condo is basically still a 50-year-old building. So as uh, the building ages, um, people, I mean, stuff will start breaking down and it will cost more to maintain it. So a freehold condo versus a leasehold condo at that point in time if the residents were to unblock it uh, I am quite sure a freehold condo will cost more for a developer to come in to unblock that particular development because the land is freehold while the, night, the leasehold condo probably at that point in time is uh, left with 49 years so typically it will be cheaper uh, versus that of a freehold so now the question is when the developer acquires a piece of freehold land through on block, they will need to definitely satisfy the greed of all the residents there. And hence, when it is going to be relaunched for sale as a new development, inherently the price will be higher than that of a leasehold development. Because even if the developer were to factor in the lease top up and the construction cost at the point in time, it is almost always that the selling price will be cheaper than that of a freehold but of course when given an opportunity to be able to buy uh, or to choose between a freehold and a leasehold condo and if the price does not differ too much definitely I would say the freehold condo would be the preferred choice because ultimately it's freehold and freehold land uh, doesn't depreciate with time unlike a free uh, sorry unlike a leasehold uh, land so if you are able to acquire a freehold property or freehold condo at the price of a leasehold condo within the same area, uh, definitely do uh, consider acquiring the freehold condo. Yeah. So um, when it comes to price difference, what is the typical difference between a freehold and a leasehold? So uh, according to the charts uh, over here, so uh, that I pulled from. Uh, Edge property, so we can see that the premium recently between the freehold and leasehold of new launches has increased. The gap is now around 30%. So, that is uh, if you look at the chart throughout history, there's actually a gap. Uh, and when, of course, if you see there are certain points where the leasehold properties are actually on par with freehold, so obviously that's a no brainer for you to buy a freehold. But uh, now the the premium of a freehold property is typically 20 to 30 percent that of a leasehold property. So, again, if you are able to get a freehold at the price of a leasehold, do consider to seriously buy that freehold project. Yeah. So that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye. See you soon.